Hello and welcome to tutorial 15 in Microsoft Visual Basic 2008. Now, before this point, we've been doing really beginner like tutorials, just easy things, try and, trying to get a grasp on the programming language. Well, this is where we're going to start doing the intermediate stuff. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you about the for loop, which is a feature. Well, it's it's basically like we you want to tell Microsoft Visual Basic how many times you'd like to execute a code and it'll do it. So I'm going to be using the easiest method to show this to you and hopefully you understand the concept. So create a new project and we'll call it for loop. And all we'll need here is a button, so go ahead and add a button. and we'll just put the text as for loop okay so what a for loop is is every time right I'll just create the code first and I'll explain to you so first we're going to declare i as integer equals zero and then for we'll put down here for i equals zero to 10 message box dot show the value of i is okay so this might look a bit weird to you right now but I'm just going to explain it here first of all we're going to declare i as a number or integer which is zero and then here we're going to have the for loop. This is saying, okay, when for i zero to ten, message box the value of i is i. So every time th this executes the code, first of all it's going to start off with i equals zero, and it's going to message it zero, and then when it says next, it's going to increment i by one to one, and then it's going to say the value of i is one, and it's going to keep going until it gets to ten, and then it's going to stop. So let's just play that. I'm not sure quite sure how to explain this, sorry, but that's all I can think of. So we'll click for loop and it's the value of i is zero, one, two, three. We'll keep going till ten. And there we go. Okay, so what a for loop is is it will increment this. You can you use any variable here. You can use dim oops I have to take it out of running you can use dim a as integer and we can put for a and change this to a it's still going to be the same thing because all it's going to do is increment the integer of a by one each time so say you want to execute a code that many times you can just do that or if you want to if you want something to I don't know whatever you want be creative this has just been a way to try and help you understand the for loop and I know it's quite confusing, but if you have any questions about it, if you don't understand it, just if you leave a comment, I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So, yeah, also if you have any suggestions about how I create my tutorials, leave a comment. And if you'd like me to create a tutorial especially for you, leave a comment. And yes, please rate and rate down here and subscribe up here. Thanks.